The results are in and the election season is over. Mostly. Good morning and happy Sunday. I'm Lauren Hawkins. Election night saw many surprises across the state, the biggest being Republican Jeff Landry's gubernatorial win. Landry exceeded most expectations by avoiding a runoff, claiming victory over the five challengers. WBRZ's News 2, Chris Nakamoto, was there for the changing of the guard. Hello from a jubilant Jeff Landry camp where he won outright tonight to become the next governor of the state of Louisiana. His campaign folks thought that he would be entering a runoff in November, but today, voters in Louisiana sent a resounding message that they want change. Take a listen to what our next governor had to say. You know, I have traveled, we have traveled all around the state. Big cities, small towns, and we have absolutely seen the greatness of the people of this state. And tonight's, ele tonight's election, make no mistake about it, it was historic. It was a clear signal. Tonight's election says that our state is united and it's a wake up call. It's a message that everyone should hear loud and clear that we, the people of this state, are going to expect more out of our government from here on out. Now that Jeff Landry was elected tonight, it avoids any sort of runoff that would have been scheduled for November. He'll be sworn in as governor of the great state of Louisiana in January. Reporting from the Jeff Landry camp, Chris Nakamoto, now back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Landry's outright victory led to a disappointing and unexpectedly decisive defeat for Democratic candidate Sean Wilson. Many polls suggested he could have pushed Landry to a runoff, but as WBRZ's News 2's Nick Perlin tells us, the numbers just weren't there. Well, just moments ago, Sean Wilson had the opportunity to address his supporters. He thanked them for showing out here at the Weston Hotel in New Orleans and says even though he lost, he's proud of the campaign that he ran. Now, Jeff Landry was far ahead this entire campaign, and it went to show tonight as he did get more than 50% of the vote needed to not force a runoff race and win this thing outright. Now, Sean Wilson, when he talked to his supporters, he did mention that he was a little upset with some of the voter turnout. While we were here earlier, Congressman Troy Carter seconded those um, feelings, saying he wished more people showed up to the polls. But that, even with that being said, Sean Wilson is very happy with the campaign he ran, saying that he's glad that he made a difference, even if he lost tonight. And there are no regrets in the Wilson household. No. Because we made a difference in the state of Louisiana. Yes, the difference one makes is not always the outcome that one would have, but we made a difference in this race. Right. And I reflect on the fact that I called Jeff Landry and congratulated him on the victory tonight because the citizens of Louisiana spoke or didn't speak and made a decision. That's right. And every good American, every good Louisianian accepts those consequences. Yes. And I stand before you here tonight with my family and friends and loved ones and people all across the state of Louisiana that understands those consequences and we accept that and say job well done yeah. for Team yeah. Wilson. Yeah. Well, like we said, Sean Wilson will lose tonight to Governor-elect Jeff Landry, but that's not stopping him from making his rounds and saying hello and shaking the hands of his supporters. That's all we have reporting at the Weston Hotel at Sean Wilson headquarters. Nick Perlin, WBRZ News 2. And as we take a closer look at election night's unexpected surprises, Michael Shingleton and Sylvia Weatherspoon are here with WBRZ political analyst James Hartman to break down the shocking results. Hey, good morning. On this post-election Sunday, we have some clarity, some questions, and another election just around the corner. And here to discuss where we stand is our political analyst, James Hartman. Let's start right at the top of governor's race that never really seemed to ignite. Of course, that was the biggest surprise, Jeff Landry winning outright over a crowded field. Landry led in just about every metric from polling to fundraising to key endorsements. So, James, the question for you. Is there anything you think any of the other candidates really could have done to pose a challenge? 
much? Uh, quite bluntly, no. I mean, uh, General Landry, now Governor-elect Landry, ha had so many of his ducks in a row well in advance. Uh, you know, the support of the, the early endorsement of the Republican Party, support from Washington, of course, the endorsement from former President Trump, uh, and the incredible fundraising advantage he had. You know, money doesn't always win elections. It's how you spend it. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about the, the governor's race 16 years ago where you had uh, four major candidates, three of whom spent almost the same amount of money, 10 to, 10 to $15 million each. Um, but clearly, Bobby Jindal trounced everybody in the primary in that one uh, because he spent money wisely and like General Landry did this time, he dodged debates. He avoided being put on the spot. Of the other uh, statewide contests, what stands out to you the most? Um, I think I was, uh, I was a little bit surprised that Hunter Lundy didn't do better. Um, I was surprised, uh, of course, that, that Sean Wilson didn't draw more support than he did. I, honestly, going into this, I, I'm not shocked that General Landry won, I, but I, if I'd had to predict it, I would have predicted uh, uh, that he would narrowly miss winning tonight and be in a runoff with, with Secretary Wilson and then ultimately win in four weeks. Um, and I was surprised that uh, Representative Stefanski didn't do better. All right, James, thank you. We'll have much more with James Harbin on our hour-long edition of the news at 10 o'clock coming up tonight. So for now, let's send it back to Lauren.